15 hour train ride from Gara Onsen, which I didn't vlog because that was just supposed to be like two days of relaxation. Aaron, don't do it, please. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna be spending like three days here. So it's snowing as you can see, very cold, a lot colder than even Korea, but it's so it's beautiful. everywhere. Mm. I'm super excited. We're at a seafood buffet restaurant and there's all these different types of seafood. Jack, do you like how the tables underneath are hollow so you don't have to cross your legs and get pins and needles? Yes. <laughs> Rohan, what are you getting? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Some buffet. There's lots of options available. Yay. I'm quite excited. I saw fried chicken. Yeah, there is indeed some. <laughs> It's a mukbang. What, do you know what this is? No. Oh, okay. Well, is it cheese inside? I uh, it's cheese. You don't think it's cheese? I think it is cheese. Mm. Hey, where'd you get noodles? Um, they were on the top shelf. Oh. Damn it. Where'd you get broccoli? On the top shelf. Damn it, I'm going back. Morning breakfast. Yeah, this is breakfast. I got a tempura shrimp, rice, lots of assorted sashimi, fried chicken, cheese croquettes, uh, pickles. What else? Mm, and then I got broccoli, mango, and noodles. And then miso soup of seaweed. And a black tea. Yeah. <laughs> ages ago. Nice. We're going up the mountain. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Is there, is there? Gloves. We're going up the ropeway. Do you know what mountain is just called? Mount Moiwa. Mount Moiyama. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what do you yeah? <laughs> it costs one thousand seven hundred for a return ticket, which is like twenty dollars. Quite expensive. Is it? Mm. Is it though? Mm -hmm. What makes you say that? Because it does not fit in with my budget. Why not? You mm. spent nothing today. Mm. Mm. You're right. Bar spent a lot yesterday. Why'd you do that? Because we had to pay for one cent. All right. Yeah. Look at the view. 
beautiful. So we've had lots of snow fights. Yeah. And Rachel's got her hair messy already. Not that bad. No, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Lil was sad her hair got wet. And she also bought gloves too big for her hands, so she's sad about that. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit annoying. <laughs> Is it time for us to go? What about you? Do your gloves fit your hand then? Oh, they don't. What? They're too small. <laughs> They're too small. So we got a case of too big, too small. They're all really smart here. So this is what a ropeway is. A gondola, pretty much. A gondola. Then what would you call it? A and don't say a ropeway. Isn't it a gondola? What's a gondola then? Gondola the thing that's the, in Venice that you sit on. That you sit on in the water. Yeah. I need a gondola for the whole gondola. Oh yeah. Welcome to Mount Moiwa. The gondola will depart from the base station and head for the midway station at a height of 456 meters. We're pretty high up now. Oh shit, I can't spot it. <laughs> Halfway there. We have one more walk up. Are we going to cable car? Apparently, they want to walk it. You're not meant to walk it. You're not meant to walk it. Leo, what are you doing? Hmm. Oh, that's so good. We're home now, and here is my haul of the day because we went to Second Street, which is a second hand shop. And it's a really popular chain of stores in Japan where the clothes are super cheap but also really nice. And here is what I got I bought this champion beanie. And it's really nice and pink and it has the champion logo on the back. This was only 500 yen. Why do I get one? That's part of your haul. Oh, I got this strong zero. <laughs> this other strong zero. <laughs> Apple flavor, grapefruit flavor, and triple lemon. How much were they? Total 500 yen. Whoa. What's more worth the champion hoodie? Or the triple strong zero here. <laughs> Leave in the comments what you think. Strong zero, baby. Like, strong zero. Like, subscribe, comment. Or champion. Smiling every day with. Hey, Liddy. <laughs> hey, it's like a strong zero ad. Yeah, I want and then. Back. My second purchase. Was these Timberlands. And they were only 4,900 yen. And they were perfect in my size, good condition as well, so I thought I would buy them since I don't have any boots and my feet are so cold in the snow in Sapporo, so yeah, happy! That's it for my day today and I will see you all tomorrow! Day 2 of Sapporo! Yay! Lil's healed! Yay! <laughs> it's also great day! Yay! <laughs> So cute. We're going to the sports shop first so we can get Rohan some ski gloves and we can look at some ski stuff. And then, not much else today. But tomorrow we're going skiing. Well, Lil will be boarding. <laughs> Rohan's sad because he needed to buy gloves but they're super expensive here. Let me show you guys. They're all 8,800. But they are gold warm. Mmm. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. That's you can just the rent. cheapest one you can find. I don't have that type of money, man. <laughs> mm, there are goggles here. My ones are, I think, similar to those. Mm. And then, they don't have skis here, but I was looking at boards. And these ones are really cheap. So, if you need a board, come to Japan and buy it. 
because they come with both the board and the bindings. Seco for three days of skiing and boarding and I actually didn't want to film most of this because I've already got two ski vlogs up and I didn't think I needed another one I just wanted to have the most relaxing and enjoyable time in Niseko. I snowboarded for the first time and I'm actually so proud about my progress but then I've now switched to skis because although I really enjoyed snowboarding skiing will always be my first love <laughs> But the real reason I wanted to do a tiny bit of vlogging, and it's not even on my camera because something's wrong with the battery on my camera, so it's on my phone. Sorry for the quality. But we are staying at Sky Niseko, which is a really, really luxurious hotel right next to the ski field. So it's basically ski and ski out. Um, we got it for about, I think it was like $100 per person per night, which is super, super cheap. Considering if you check it out now on booking.com, uh, a two people apartment for three nights costs $2,200. So I definitely think we got lucky on this one. And I just wanna show you around. It's a bit messy, but once you come in, here's the kitchen, super fancy. And when you go into the kitchen, look, they have a really cool sink. And the bins are in here and everything is super new because this place opened about a month ago, I think. So all the appliances and things are brand new and they have a full on kitchen. So this is what the three bedroom suite looks like. They give you free water every day, an espresso machine, and you can, you have pods, which they also fill up every day. Amazing. If you look in here, there's all these really, Fresh pots and pans. Yeah, out of the kitchen because I don't spend that much time here. On the side, let me just look the light. So this is like a drying area for our jackets and stuff. And then we've got some lights here, and they give us free slippers every day as well. And over here, there's a full laundry dryer. Amazing. Um, over here is our first bedroom, but before that, there's even first bathroom, black marble, <laughs> and actually this one's small, you can see me, hello, and you can see look, they provide us with these free pyjamas as well, so we all feel like we're patients in a rehab because everyone's wearing the same grey grey top and bottom. <laughs> and typically these floors are all heated as well. They give us fresh towels every day and they're super fluffy. And there, let's go to the room. So I think this is the master bedroom because it has a TV and my room doesn't have a TV. But two people share here. So that's where Jack and Rohan sleep. And then if you look over here actually, they have their own bathroom, so on suite number one. And they have white marble, very luxurious bathtub. These toilets are super high tech because you gotta press like these buttons to flush and do stuff. Yeah, so it's really cool. When I wake up in the morning and I go to the bathroom, I do my stuff. It just feels like a futuristic movie. And then they provide you with like a ton of amenities like shower caps, toothbrush and all that kind of stuff here. And now let's move on to my room. All the other rooms are pretty standard. Dun, 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 dun. 
here are all the rehab patients. Hello. <laughs> this is my room and I have to share it. And then we have another ensuite in here. Black marble. I just had a shower. <laughs> so all the same. And look, over here you can turn on the bathroom floor heating. How high tech. And then, if you look outside the window, excuse me, look, it's amazing, it's a Christmas wonderland. You can see other people as well, but yeah, there's so much snow outside. Let's move on to the living room. The living room. Dun, 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 dun. This is a firm couch. And here's a futuristic phone. What about the iPad? Show us the iPad we got. Where's the iPad? They give us an iPad. <laughs> and there's all this information. Facilities. You can book a private onsen. Yeah. And there's a gym. And spa. So yeah, that was a quick tour of our three bedroom suite at Sky Niseko. I feel so comfortable in my PJs. Um, so high because we skied for more than eight hours today because we did night skiing as well. And I'm ready to go to sleep. Say goodnight and see you in Tokyo.